The requirements for this course are the following. Number one, you will need some chemical engineering or mechanical engineering, maybe even petrochemical engineering backgrounds, just the basics. Learn, I mean, know what's a unit operation, what, how to build a process, process diagrams and so on. Number two, I will definitely recommend you to have taken any basic course on Aspen Plus because we, or at least I will assume that you know the basics, how to open a simulation, how to use unit operations, how to use the help button and so on, how to use the folders, navigate, etc. So if you haven't uh, taken any course of these, I will definitely recommend you any basic course. I have some prepares, but you can find whatever course on Aspen Plus. And number three, uh, since the course is based on workshops and case studies, you need to work hands-on with the software. So you should have at least version 7, I recommend, but you can use whatever version you have. Recommended are 8 up to 10. And I would definitely recommend this course for chemical engineers or students, process engineers related on maybe petrochemical or pharma industry plant designers or engineers, chemists, if you're interested on modeling chemistry or molecules, what are the effects, how you can separate some, let's say, materials or reactants, you can do it as well. Definitely, this is recommended for students related to the engineering fields. If you want to review a compressor, if you're a mechanical or electrical engineer, you can use Aspen Plus and verify plenty of relevant data, thermodynamic data, what's the input energy, efficiency, is entropic, vapor fractions, etc. Maybe even teachers which are learning uh, or need to teach Aspen Plus, well, you're more than welcome to learn more on Aspen Plus. And as stated before, guys, Aspen Plus has plenty of petrochemical applications. So you are also welcome as well.